Hello, hello, hello there my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Marta here. Welcome everyone. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well and I really wish you a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whenever you are watching. I hope you will join me for today's crafting chatty session and a little singing session as well as you can probably hear in the background. Look at this desk filled with the most stunning scrapbook supplies. A little birdie, you know it. I've used it tons of times and I have to gather all of that here on my desk to show you how absolutely stunning those are. We have some chipboards, we have some papers, some shiny things as well and paper flowers of course and I was thinking wouldn't it be amazing to make some mixed media cards, maybe mixed media tag. Either way I think it's high time for some crafting fun together. I hope you will join me. I hope you will love it and have a good time and I hope you will craft with me actually. That's the main thing. Shall we? Let's do it. Hmm? Is it Mummy's workplace? And and Lily's. And Lily's. Okay. So we have Lily's. a Lily's. We have a little visitor as you can hear. We have Hannah and her dolly. And I have the beautiful papers here that we should actually start cutting. I'm gonna show you what we have. I have kind of had a peek a little bit and I choose purposely to go for this beautiful tealish pinkish scheme, this beautiful celebrate life uh, paper set. Let me show you because it's really really pretty. We have some gorgeous backgrounds, another background idea that we have, another one pinky one, different pinky one as well. Then we have embellishments to fussy cut which is super nice. Um, I wonder if I want mix and match with these I'm thinking. Uh, this is from Woodlands actually stories. I'm gonna show you in a second. Then we have, this is lovely because it's perfect for scrapbooking, for card making. Also these are so super gorgeous. Do you know now that I'm thinking it would be so amazing if I could drag a little bit of my die cut box that I have here with die cut paper die cuts. Maybe we'll use some of that. Some other, oh actually these are pre-cut. Hi Hannah. Hi Dolly, <laughs> these are pre-cut so you can he you can see uh, the act, hi, you can see this and you, can you don't have to cut it because it's already cut it for you. So there we go, another gorgeous background. This is stunning for the layout actually, which I'm not coloring today Hannah because I've been coloring earlier and you've been painting on the table. You finished your painting? Yeah. Okay. Well, I love this one. I think it's such a beautiful for a scrapbook layout. I we love have this one. <laughs> you love this one. I love this one. And here is a more. So let's start. Let's one. begin. You like them? <laughs> we have a dolly here as well in the house. So let's begin. Let's think for she what background. She needs a new house. Mm. Building of bricks. Out of bricks, is it? Yeah. Okay, you sh you c she can live Ew. in my studio if you like. Ew. Now I'm thinking to use, to have some of these. I like this one actually, it's like a wooden pattern. Mm, I, I don't think I need to open that for now, Hannah. No, no, please don't open <laughs> this well, fell. <laughs> no, Hannah. <laughs> She is at everything. Hanya, no, you can play with your toys right now. I want to play with your toys. You want to play with my toys? Yeah. That's going to be a hard one. If you're wondering, those papers are only one-sided, not double-sided if, you, if you've been thinking of them. Now, I do believe that we should be cutting some of these backgrounds for the size and as well some bit of this. So we're gonna be in pinks today I think. Let's cut these and I'll be right back. My papers are cut but let me show you quickly some of them. Oh these are the same. Some of the flowers that I have picked for today. I absolutely love these sets. Each is prettier than the other one. So there's more, more and more and I was thinking to have a look at this woodland embellishments. Little birdies, oh, and little 
embellishment. I definitely will try to use these today. Although there's no pink in them, that's okay. Well, I, but there's a teal, so I hope we can squeeze something together. So here is my card. This is what we have right now. I need double-sided tape. I have my hot glue gun on as well because I will be definitely attaching things with the hot glue gun. There we go. Oh, actually, what I usually do is I'll put my tape on the actual card base. And what I do is I will I will have my I will lift this up a little bit and then lift here so nothing is moving and we can easily have sorry for the phone noises <laughs> easily have things like that. So now this is what we have our base but I was also thinking that it would be so lovely if we could use some chipboard. So I have some here. I also have some lace which I think it would be just perfect. Mm -hmm. And I think one other lovely thing would be to actually maybe use some stencil. I have this gorgeous stencil from Little Birdie but I didn't bring it here. Let me get it for you. Here it is. This is like a script kind of script stencil which I think it will be so awesome to be used on top of that I, I believe. So that's what I will probably do. I may actually have a little bit of tape going on if I'll find it. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have a tape the same way as I've done the the first layer there we go and I'm gonna place this one here as you can see we have two layers and the first layer it's kind of looking like as if this is fr like if the car if the the whole piece is framed it's like a little frame I purposely choose to have a plain main background and the outside the frame to be busy because if we're gonna have opposite to it if we're gonna have the busy part here on top let me show you and um, you know adding flowers would be kind of difficult because it's gonna be so busy so I like to keep my busy around it for example and then concentrate on having something more plain here and let's get some of the actual um, modeling paste and and knife so let's try that there we go I think I'm gonna try to have it everywhere hi, hi. How are you? Ellie, you're cutting. I'm not cutting. I am adding some... <laughs> um, oh, thank you for that. I'm adding a little bit of texture where? paste to my card. Hi, Hannah. Where, where you're painting? No, this is not painting. This is adding texture to my... It's all wet. Adding texture to my actual card. You know? Where? So everywhere where? I see pink, I'm trying to cover it up as much as I can now and we can lift You're this look at it gorgeous it's wet gorgeous. Hannah gorgeous yes I'm gonna wash the rest back to you how about using maybe this I don't know and how about grabbing some gorgeous gorgeous flowers I'm thinking and also let's build a little bit of interest let's build a little bit of texture and how can we actually do it how about if we just have in the check just to see how it could be if we for example add this in here this is just a little trial I wonder if it's not too bright for you as in my camera I see it quite quite bright I have to say if not too bright so let's see. Mm -hmm. I like that actually. Or maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. So now, Lucas is trying to print out some coloring page for Hannah. <laughs> um, and we have these, I never use them. These are 
paper 3D borders watercolor four pieces looks interesting to me it looks a little bit like chipboard so I like that because oh they, there are different designs is it a few of them is it oh they are 3D oh wow I like that so we have they are like stuck together wow I love it actually mm -hmm. my cup of tea and how about adding mm, wait I had this chipboard so we could have a little bit of maybe oh, a little bit of of this chipboard maybe we could maybe have <laughs> yeah, she is really, she's really, she really knows what she would like to see. <laughs> That's our Hannah. She's all ready. Can I want a crasher? Would you like a crasher? Yeah. Your, for your coloring page? And daddy will do it for you? Yeah. Very nice. So I'm thinking to make it a little bit... I think he, I, I'm sure that daddy can find some paper. I do believe it would be so nice if I could actually as well have this in white. But you know, I think let's, let's see one step at a time. And paper. let's, oh, she oh. got some paper <laughs> by herself. Mommy. Yes? The paper. Did you get the paper? Well done. Okay, so now how about I have these gorgeous flowers. Mm -hmm. And this is awesome because this is like the whole ready-made set. <gasps> Look at it! So it could be like here for... Oh, and you can, you can still as well, as well change a little bit of direction of some elements. Oopsie, to uh, match that, that's no problem because... Of course it can happen because of the actual... Of the <laughs> it's a handmade... Um, where did I put it? No way. Oh here, because this is all handmade and it's very delicate, so no wonder. <laughs> there we go. Um, you can add, I love that, wow. I'm thinking as well, I don't know what I was saying, I think I, I, I had had few ideas in mind. Look at this now. Oh, I love that. How about, oh, I love that now. Uh, this is, uh, my, I have just a collection of different die cut elements because I just <laughs> I just have them I just purchased them years ago to be honest because I didn't have plenty of die cut elements and for card making I was thinking it would be so lovely to have some elements and I didn't have elements I didn't have I like that as well maybe I didn't have the die cuts and it, my machine wasn't really working so yeah a few things that have kind of happened so how about a little bit of cream as well? I like that, maybe. I like the white die cuts as well, I have to say, in general. Oh, there's plenty of white here. No. How about this one? And how about maybe this green? Oh, I like that. Wow. It does look pretty. And also... Uh, also this kind of pink here. I don't know. I'll have them out and we can see if we will tackle in anything or not. I Back to you. A few hours later I have to say. <laughs> Hannah is upstairs. Lucas is putting her to bed and we have a few hours to relax and enjoy a little bit of craft. I gathered a few other things and I was thinking that I really wish for some layers and I really wish to break that actual pure pinkish look if you know what I mean. So I was thinking hmm wouldn't be that nice to have since we have the brown chipboard as well to maybe jump in with some music notes or something along these. I don't know I'm just this is just an idea, just out loud thinking, just trying out, just seeing what are we doing, where are we with it and all. Just to see. 
I like that already because you know sometimes I feel less is more sometimes I feel that certain amount of colors could be overwhelming and things like that so yeah and a little noises that you may hear in the back it's Emmy because she is um, changing <laughs> Hannah's play area and um, she's moving little furnitures little toys to create illusion that wow you have a new room <laughs> so hopefully she'll oh look at it it's so much nicer hopefully she'll get excited about new things around that she will find and discover new setup and all so I've been thinking to maybe add these this is vellum flowers you can stamp any flowers you have and you can fussy cut them, you can stamp it with... This is just an idea, I'm not saying that this is the final of the final, but... Hmm. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I think I'm gonna start gluing things down. I like what I see. I really, really do. The only thing is that we need 3D foam-ish thing. Yes, there we go, to make it a little bit more 3D. Mm-hmm. Let's see. And I think I think I wish for a little bit more of flowers happening there and I just love this set so very much. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I can somehow put it in there. We shall see. We shall see. And my hot glue gun is not as hot as I wish for it to be getting there because I just plugged it in <laughs> okay so this one is the dimensional part and here is the kind of more flat part mm, I also found this lace I don't know I don't know I'm not saying yes I'm not saying no I'm saying why not you know mm-hmm now this way I completely <laughs> covered up actually wait 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 this way I actually covered up oh I love this actually the whole beautiful paper that is there so I like that now I really love that so I, I kind of broke that cycle of this very pinkish element that they are lovely but maybe it's a little too much for my liking I like that so I'm gonna get a lot of hot glue gun here happening and hopefully this will stick as well our actual lace mm -hmm. that's my hope but I see <laughs> no I still need a little bit of hot glue over there on the lace only so a little bit in a few places there we go let's see super something like that I do feel it would be so lovely if I can have some mediums happening here and wouldn't be just very strange to have some white spl splashes white spray over look at it a little bit of a I don't know how to there we go something like that I like that I really like that okay this could be 3d foamish as well I think so we can have this 3D foam here on the back. You can use cardboard, absolutely, to make it 3D. So sky is the limit, <laughs> really. Now, there we go. Now, and there we go. Lovely. So here is our our 3D. Wow, I love that. Mm-hmm. Or here? No, I think here is good. I think here is good. The only thing is that I really wish to see for other flowers. I really would love to see the other flowers. How about this one? Maybe. We're not gonna go for any of these either. Maybe this will go away for now, we should see. Because I really would love a little bit of full card on. Beautiful and all. I love this set, I have to say. 
absolutely stunning. I like, I like to always fluff my flowers, if you know what I mean. I like to fluff them, move them around and all. Yeah, I think we should have it all in. So, like this, maybe a little bit happening here, or the smaller one. Purple or pink? Maybe. Oh, there we go. That's way nicer. So we have a very pinky pink. And how about that smaller piece? Mm -hmm. So Emily is doing a, a makeover of Hannah's play area because Hannah doesn't have her room. Not that the house is too small, it's just we took her room over years oh I love that now years ago for the shop so I'm working on I love that now exactly so I'm gonna just add it uh, we're working on decluttering that sh that space to bring her room so she could have it so she has tons of toys downstairs all her really living <laughs> playing area is here sometimes we smiling when she says I'm going to my room which means our bedroom so it's a little sad she doesn't have her own space as such like her sister does so yeah we're hoping to change this a little bit this year and I'm giving us time till June July so the whole June to actually make this happen because I think it would be so lovely for her for her so that's the plan okay now I'm covering a lot of chipboard I know which I didn't plan at first but it it happened like this what can I say I like that these flowers have 3D foam already, but I do like indeed adding a little bit of hot glue always. Be very mindful of your fingers. Do not burn yourself, please. So, so we're decluttering, I'm making, preparing um, things to sale in the shop, like really big sale kind of big mystery boxes by the time you're watching today's video maybe they are already in the store or already gone i have no idea because i pre-record a lot of my videos i have to i record like like today i've recorded this is my i'm thinking this is my second video the first one i'll show you if i find it where is it uh, i did what did i do I can't even remember what I've done. That, oh no, I haven't. I, I've done this project today. Hopefully it's on the channel or not. So this one was done two days earlier. And I believe after this card I'm gonna be making some other video. And that's because I have to have time when I do record a lot. And then I have time when I you know, do other things like cleaning the room, recording videos about cleaning or, or things like that or pack store when it's open, pack your supplies, pack your orders if you know what I mean. I love this little card, I think it's super pretty. I do miss a little bit of gesso addition which I will add as well and I think we could... oh I forgot to glue this down, do we need it? I think we do. I think we do a little bit now I'm chatting to you recording this video and yeah and on the background I can hear my laptop as well going and believe it or not editing no saving edited video so I can upload something today break, break, break a blank page actually part two of no cost edition so yes it's busy busy in this household anyway all the time something is happening I must say I'm using a little bit spatula so that I won't burn my handies. I suggest to you as well. We need a little bit of entrance there. And I can just, there we go, stuff this in. It doesn't have to be straight or anything. Now I didn't do any of these. I'm not too sure if we need them now. Any of those die cuts, but we shall, we should try I think. We should see. I love this color scheme so very much. And this would actually match even the... Wow, I like that. It would match the little birdies next time. I hope next time. This one, teal? No. How about this teal? Mm, that could be nice, you know, because... 
we have a little bit of a oh I like that we have a little bit of teal teal color color there how about if we take a little risk and half this mm -hmm. half this actually oh yes I like that I will like that so a little bit of glue there we go and we can do something quite similar there I love that so this way we kind of adding extra color which I think is just oops very nice I, I really truly believe that mm -hmm. we have this teal that could be for example here Wow <laughs> I do like it i be honest I do like it so you know what I really wish for this card to be rich rich and bulky and interesting probably one thing that bugs me is that purple what if I <laughs> I know what you're gonna say but it's like it's barely purple and there on the on the birdies like burly so how about if we stick to some pinks instead let me have a browse around to see any other even this would uh, no <laughs> yes and no no and um, let me see let me see I have this one yes but this one is maybe a bit too big so let's have a look if we have any smaller pink which I'm sure I have some like even here and what about here no that's uh -huh. that's white no cream mm -mm. cream no let's try these this is like a little paper paper flower embellishments I think it's too much for what's there because it's already so busy but well, two seconds let's see maybe we can actually somehow somehow help it out and oh yeah wow okay I think I really let me see again between which was it between this one okay yeah definitely 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 it's just uh, all in one color scheme right, uh, right now pinkish basically pinkish and touches of teal which I really like I think it's super pretty so now it's time to think for I'm, I think I would love a little bit of sparkles why not and we will need let me see back to you I have these flowers I found them as well <laughs> of course and just to have a pick if we need any more I know it's already very busy but oh well why not I don't know just just an idea I guess no I do like it there I have to say I do like it there so I'll add this one there I really do like it there there we go and a little bit this one there yeah I like that little touch of pearl that it's in the middle of that flowers actually I like that and I do believe it would be so lovely to do touches of white gesso let me have a brush let me grab a brush and your white gessoing just on the tippy kind of tippy on the tips of your project really so I'm just using a little birdie white gesso and here is my brush and I like to add my gesso actually on the um, on the on the cover because it, it kind of helps me to dissolve this too much of the gesso from the brush and I can dip it in even more and da 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 da, da. I prefer that I like that way now why do I do it because I like mixed media because I feel that sometimes it is so nice to have a bit of a a bit of a kind of 
touch of color or of white that it's Com that it's just helping to be happy together. It's like everything kind of, I don't know, it's like a little frosted, like everyone is happy with each other. So I'm not really pushing the color too much on top of it, but I just wish for some highlights, I guess that's what's the best to put it in. So a bit more just so if I feel like I need a bit more. There we go. <laughs> there's no more mm, I wanted the flowers to be for the pearls and I covered pearls with the white gesso but that's okay too you know that's okay too be sure to check Little Birdie website because they do have absolutely gorgeous 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 um, selection and new stock is coming any day I know that for a fact <laughs> I'm gonna add touches as well on the lace why not Mhm. Mm so be sure to give them a look on their website. Links are below the video. So and check their social media as well. You know, I always give you when I cooperate with the brand. When I ha I'm happily co um, recommending your products that I truly love and enjoy using. And I would love you to have a peek at their websites, at their social media. This way you're giving them like how everyone can help. Well, by liking liking the posts, by liking their page, by sharing and all. So it would be nice if you fancy checking them out. I think it's lovely. You may see some giveaway maybe. Maybe you will see um, some sale happening. You never know. It's good to have an eye on things. So. I love this uh, rust, not rusty, frosty look. I think it's super pretty. And on top of that frosty look that we have, wow, I actually can't stop staring at it. It is very pretty. It turned out very, very pretty. Layered mixed media. A little bit of all. I'm gonna add extra glue there. And maybe touches here oh here as well and I think we can call this one coloring wise finished except dun, dun, dun. yeah we have some sparkles to be happening and I have checked them little pearls uh, the 3d pearl drops because this is really really fabulous product except that maybe I didn't use it yet so maybe oh Maybe I have to open it up, possibly, no, I'm sure it's just, it's just stuck if I have to. Um, they're making actually a <laughs> really special, perfect, very well made um, drops. So you better check them out because you'd be surprised at the quality of these. There we go, we just had to. I got them quite some time ago, so no wonder there's there is some blockage. But I really wish to use them now for um, the actual sequins, the little sparkles there. I think it would be just so nice to do it. So let's see if I remember where to place that. <laughs> there we go and one more can be that's gonna be like a very precise action oh someone asked today in the cafe on my facebook group can we use glitter on mixed media of course you can use anything you only wish for sky is the limit you are <laughs> however you like I think we just are afraid that we're gonna break some rules that you that you just asking just in case like even if you break the rule breaking the rules means you're making your very own rules your new rules why not there's nothing wrong with it if you want glitter go for it if you would like anything else that's your you know your card your project your decision so <laughs> I suggest go for it I think that's how people discovered new things, new techniques, new ideas, but by, by doing it, by trying it, by, you know, let me just have this one 
go in there. <clears throat> now, one more, or two more actually. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have maybe. I love, love, love it. Wow, we could have even more than than the drop. Why not? Absolutely. Could be few of them, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> A bunch of them. Absolutely. A bunch of them. Wow. Oh, I love this so much. Now. <laughs> now, now, now. Wow. Oops. We definitely need a touch of sparkles there. <laughs> it's just difficult to grab it. There we go. So your pearl drops can actually be like your, also like your glue. That's what I have done here. Look at it. Super pretty. One last touch will be here. Actually, I have no nothing here. So let's have let's have a little one. A little. Oopsie. A little one here there we go perfect and voila wow I could have a title do we have any not necessarily here I'm just thinking we could wait we could have this party there let's see let's see I'm gonna have a little cut through that hmm well, obviously the flowers made the whole project, isn't it? Really, really nice. I'm gonna fussy cut this one, because why not? And I'm thinking maybe I'll fussy cut this one as well. No. No, there we go, let's have a quick faucet. Oh, the camera is jumping, not camera, the battery. <laughs> yeah, I've recorded one video, so I didn't change the battery in between, so that's why. Usually a battery will last me for one or two recordings, definitely. But now, time is coming. Let's see if we're gonna add these birdies. Maybe not, maybe it's just my interpretation, my idea that it we won't follow, but we shall we can we will share <laughs> we shall see. We can surely try and see how things are. So let's see. Hello. Oh absolutely. Absolutely because this way absolutely same for the flowers as well. We can add it with the party. This way we're gonna have it very much bigger so they're gonna be visible more because they have been a little tiny lost in between those beautiful flowers which I didn't mind because it's okay too you know it's like some embellishments are more visible some things are less and that's okay too but now when I just moved that paper and I saw the 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 bigger embellishments the bigger flowers like mm, this may actually work and be very very handy so there we go Now, fussy cut that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Are we still recording <laughs> despite our flashing battery? We are, but we're nearly finished anyway. So, let's see. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna have the uh, kind of generous amount of hot glue on underneath it there we go and I will add it like somewhere like that hello hello friend <laughs> something like this and same for the other birdie quite a generous amount of glue hot glue as well and this one can be on top of this one and wow I love it love it love it love it one thing maybe I'm gonna have a look if it's anywhere near me the happy birthday or any sort of wishes will I add it not always do we have to add the title isn't it maybe I'll just leave it as it is blank because it's so pretty 
Wow! It's quite heavy, I have to say, so you wouldn't really send this one. You would probably hand this one over to someone. Wow, a little bit of uh, romantic, a little bit of mixed media, a lot of dimension and layers and most beautiful, gorgeous goodies uh, that I've seen. So I hope you like this one and enjoyed uh, my little card. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. As always, a pleasure to be in your homes. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Check the links below if you have any questions, if you have any wonderings. Everything should be under the video in the description box below and check also Buy Me Coffee website that it's linked in the description box because there are, which I'll show you, some free freebies, free papers that you can actually download it for your own use just for the, for yourself. I like to give back always. I love sharing and spreading love so I hope you may enjoy that and like that as well. And um, I'm gonna wrap up at that. Thank you so very much. I already miss you um, but I have to go. Till the next time. Happy crafting and I'll chat to you very very soon. Oh and actually I forgot. Thank you so much, little birdie, for sending me gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous goodies. It was a pleasure to use them. I hope you like the card too. So, bye. Have a wonderful day. And I'll chat to you very, very soon. I love you. Bye-bye.